Yes, sir. We're back. That uh, first clip there was the, this morning we had a bunch of ice. So somebody's school got canceled and yeah, he made out to work with me. So we had to push the chip route. It got stuck on the way out. Lots going on. We have been busy today. We got the chipper moved here uh, behind me. But look what we did today. We made the skitter great again. By great, I mean greatless. We took off the grates off the 535. So now it's like the other 535 that so you can actually see um, again out of it. It's actually that is very, very, very nice to have that done on there. So it, it was pretty simple. Just took the grates off, took the windshield wipers off. Then we're just going to get ruined. So, yeah. We are just getting stuff done today. So we got that done. We're on a new job. Um, we're pulling gobs of wood up to the chipper. Getting set up for tomorrow. A little bit muddy. We have gotten like a whole day of rain non-stop and now it's just kind of foggy nasty wet out but that right there ain't gonna be a problem the soil here is just sandy soil so that's gonna be just great i mean once this once this water goes down we'll be living a dream out here so we just don't need a bunch of rain but i pulled up i got eight bundles in here I don't know how Josh has probably got one or two more on the other side. So and there's one chunk of oak there in the way. He's stuck. Lock her in, push, baby. Come on, baby, come on! He's got her going, yeah! There he goes, there he goes! He's living the dream, baby! Woohoo! There he goes! Oh, yeah! Hold on! <laughs> oh, he's scared right now. Wait till she flops down. Yeah! So yeah, I probably got eight loads. I got eight bundles in here, all here. And uh, there was one oak top in the way that we grabbed it through in here, but he's probably got at least eight, maybe more, but I got, uh, yeah, we got a good pile of wood here. Good pile of wood set up for morning. Man, getting things set up. Hopefully to move a lot of wood. As you can tell, there's no slasher here. It's just a bunch of this chip wood here. So we are going to get this chip wood ate up. I mean, and yeah, he's he's hunting today. He's got this little BB G-U-N out here. Dad told him he could bring it. As long as he stays out of trouble. But she has been. He's been good. Yeah, Josh has got a good amount of wood. You want me to lift that up? I'm going to lift the conveyor up. He got a couple that slipped through. Slipped through the cracks. So we'll flip the conveyor up. Look out! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! No! Hey!
you're safest always around me, so come to me if ever I yell, get away, okay? Oh. Stay around me. Uh, so we got, that's about as much wood as you can put in there because the old Moorbark 500 only reaches about that far, so. There's a lot of wood in that pile right there. So, there's a lot more wood out there to be cut yet. So, hopefully, we're set up for more. We are set up for more. We put out, put out some wood. Hopefully, because we haven't put out, we haven't chipped at all the last two days. Um, just been moving stuff, getting stuff ready. And uh, work on a chipper a little bit. That was really good to work on a chipper. We got some really good stuff fixed. Yeah, but here's the other, the one other thing that we got to discuss. What if, hopefully that wind doesn't bother you too bad. It's a little bit windy back here. There we go. But, what if, what if we could make some cutting videos finally after all this time after the thousands of comments that we get <laughs> i want to see a cutting video i want to see a bunch of video how do you guys cut your trees on and on and on and on so what if we could make a cut video we'll see you will just have to wait and see uh, what happens because obviously this isn't the 573 we're running right now. That's out there cutting right now. We brought this one down to do some more cutting on this one. Good job for somebody to learn and uh, a lot of chip wood to cut so it helps them out a little bit to get a little more down. Um, there is some rules and regulations about cutting. The most important one is you skid all your first wood that you cut. That's the rules because it's pretty bad to start off with. So, we talked about that today. That got delivered down here. There could be, could be some cutting videos. We'll see. If we get a rookie operator in there, anything can happen. And uh, yeah, but that's sitting here. So we did some skidding, got the skin done, made the skidder greatless again. Um, the, did some, they did some more welding on the chipper this morning. Um, but yeah, it's just been a nasty, nasty day. But we're getting set up to put some serious wood up. This wood right here, you can put a lot of wood up real fast. If you can keep the wood to the chipper. So, and the truck's in here. This ground, like this, hard to keep the trucks rolling because of all the nastiness but like I said it's rained for the last day and a half once this goes through it's gonna be beautiful but yeah we did a lot of work the chipper did a little welding last night you guys have been blowing up the comment section that's awesome this is incredible 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 you all are just wonderful people Love you all. We did a little welding. We had a couple problems with uh, that right there. That got welded up. And on the other side, that cracked a little bit. That one does more work than that one up there. Um, this is a bigger drum with more chain in it. So it's doing a lot of work. We did a lot of work on that right there. This time, that'll be good to go. Um, we, I mean, the whole situation is way better. I'll show you real quick. We can actually have two people blowing on this chipper at one time, which has never ever happened before. Um, because we got the T up there, now we have this hose here and that hose there. That hose can blow off the big motor. This hose is a little bit longer, which we left it a little longer. And, uh, yeah. That can reach back there. I've never ever had somebody help me blow the chipper off as far as having two wands on at the same time. We got this, that wand's like four foot, and we got like a six footer. 
it would be amazing to have somebody help me. So once things start to dry out, I will help Josh and we will get this baby spotless. But you can't do it till this dries out right here. Cause that being wet, it just, you're fighting a losing battle. So we'll wait till it gets warm, get some sunshine out here. And we will be making some, we'll get this girl cleaned off and then we'll make a video of how beautiful it looks. So I'm just really excited, you know? Like we're set up, frost loss is here. We're all set up, ready to go. There's gobs of wood everywhere. Uh, the chipper got some oils changed. It got cleaned out. I mean, look at that pretty filter. It's got some welding. Oh, Josh forgot a chain. Uh, got some welding done in there. All that. Got the welding on the inside of there, too. That was really nice. Got the two things welded there, the stuff welded there. And look at it. And look at it. Yes, sir. Zing, zing, zing. And now the rain is coming. So, woo, easy, John boy. We're going to get out of here. I even got, check this out. Josh didn't put it in I even got a tool. That's for holding the knives in when you're, when you're doing them. That's a, uh, that's what the rope's for. We even got that. So we don't have to use sticks anymore. Which ain't a big deal. Jimmy, the guy that works for us, made us a bunch of those. One weekend he just wanted to. Look at that. I mean, that's going to help us out. Everything is just coming together. We just need some nice weather. <laughs> Which is out of our control now. It's starting to rain again. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. And as always, just keep rolling. We got to get because it's coming down quick.